Welcome. This is a 15 minute full body stretch to help relieve sore muscles and tension. As always, feel free to modify or skip any poses that don't feel right today. We'll begin in tabletop, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Dropping the belly, inhale, take your gaze up. Exhale, rounding through the spine, take your gaze down. Continue sinking breath with movement, flowing at your own pace. Perfect, find a neutral spine. Keeping the hips stacked over the knees, begin to walk the hands forward as you start to melt the forehead all the way down towards the mat. Now, if the space is available, you can take the chin and chest, or if it is too intense just with the forehead, you can place blocks underneath the forehead for a more support. Go ahead and slowly round through the spine, coming all the way down to your belly. Resting on the forearms, palms face down, lifting through the sternum, tucking that tailbone. Slight engagement throughout the core. Maybe even begin to sway side to side, gazing over one shoulder and over the other. Perfect. Whenever you're ready, we'll plant the hands, sending the hips back towards the heels, forehead to the mat for child's pose. Option to take the knees wide and to modify placing pillows underneath the torso and between the hips and heels for added height and support. Drawing the breath into the chest. As you exhale, softening the upper back, the shoulders, the arms, and the hands. Drawing the breath into the belly, and as you inhale, really feeling the lower back expand, so feeling the waistband of your pants getting tighter here with each breath. Exhaling, softening the belly, softening the hips. Allow yourself to sink deeper into this pose, even just for a moment, even if you just have that intention. Perfect. Now you can stay right here or begin to walk the hands towards the left for a gentle side stretch. No worries if it doesn't feel right today, simply skip it. Drawing that breath into the right side body, expanding, creating space. Exhale, be real heavy. Great, walk the hands over towards the right. Same thing here, creating that space in the left side body this time. Exhale, softening the upper back. Great, gently release. Coming all the way up, we'll make our way down to our backs. Take the feet mat with distance and just begin rocking the knees side to side, rolling over the glutes, the lower back. Maybe you notice a click and pop in the sacrum. Completely normal, just observing here. Notice how the glutes are feeling. 
feel free to even stay here a little longer. You can pause the video, stay here a little longer. I usually find this pose really, really therapeutic for the glutes and the lower back when they're feeling a little sore. Whenever you're ready, we'll come back to center, bring the big toes to touch, allowing the knees to fall open. Bottoms of feet will naturally come to touch for supine butterfly pose. Option here to place pillows underneath the knees for added height and support. You can even prop a pillow up underneath the uh, upper back and the head just for a little more height. Less intensity. Drawing the breath into the belly, really expand the belly here as you inhale. Exhale, softening the mid back, softening the belly, the groin, the inner thighs, the knees, even the toes. We'll gently lift the knees and then dropping both knees over towards the left back stays flat on the mat for a supine twist option here to modify of course you can place a pillow underneath the left knee and between the knees and you can also place a pillow underneath that right shoulder for less of a twist and again utilizing your inhales really creating that space maybe feeling yourself lift feel your chest your upper back lifting off the mat as you inhale really bring that breath into the body creating that space exhale completely surrendering here just allowing the upper body to be heavy softening the legs And we'll lift the knees, take them over towards the right. Same thing, option to modify, working with the breath. Lifting the knees, hugging them in towards the chest. We'll grab the outer edges of the feet, bottoms of feet to touch. You can stay here or open the feet for happy baby. Option to gently rock side to side. Perfect. Give yourself a big hug, big squeeze for showing up to the mat today. 
and whenever you're ready, we'll take the feet to the bottom of the mat, hands to your sides, palms facing up, preparing for Shavasana. Taking this one moment out of our day, out of our practice, to just be, to be here with the body in its fully relaxed and present state, a moment to soak in all the work you just did. We'll work through the body from the crown of the head to the root of the body, the feet, softening the forehead. Keeping a gentle gaze with the eyes or begin to close the eyes. Softening the jaw, softening the back of the neck, allowing the chin to naturally fall here. Drawing the breath into the chest. As you exhale, softening the upper back, softening the ribs, the shoulders, the arms. Softening the palms of the hands, maybe the fingers start to naturally curl inward. Drawing the breath into the belly, biggest breath you've taken today. Exhale, softening the belly, softening the mid back and the lower back. Maybe observing the connection between the sacrum and the mat. Softening the knees, the ankles, and the feet. The feet naturally start to splay out. Resting here a few more moments. Continue working through the body or just observing.
will gently begin to wake up the body, wiggling the fingers and toes, rocking the head, maybe bending the knees. Rolling over towards our right, full inhale. And exhale. We'll gently come up to a comfortable seat. Inhale, the hands reach up. Exhale, heart center. Thank you for joining. Namaste. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it below, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on future videos and live streams.